dysfunctional RC back with another video. I uh, got a special, actually got two special packages in the mail. I uh, wanted to share this one with you guys. Um, huge shout out to Pyro Nitro. He sent me some products. Um, I bought some of these as well in the past, um, but I definitely am excited to check out these new fan covers. Oh man, that's the uh, Spartan helmet there. Let's see, I know there's some other 3D ones. Well, those are cool. Alright, these are the Punisher skulls. Um, so I think I'm utilizing on my truck the two black Punisher skulls. That's more of a traditional skull there. These are all uh, 40 mil fans. Uh, he also has the honeycomb design. These are 40 mil. Uh, these ones I purchased uh, a while back, but that, those are just flat. Uh, a new one in his lineup is the 35 millimeter. Um, that way, if you're just replacing the fan um, or just running the stock ESC and fan, you can just use the cover. Um, Cause a lot of the stock electronics don't have a great cover, um, blocking out for debris and whatnot. So, uh, so these are the smaller ones. You get four the uh, the nuts on the bottom and then the hardware as well again you can do four or you can do the larger ones which include two uh, made out of a very flexible material that makes it really easy to mount to the bodies because some of the other brands i've seen out there are uh are hard or you know they, they don't flex so it's hard to mount them to a body that's not perfectly flat um, so there's the hardware again and the nuts uh, you just pre-tap a couple of holes in there, and they uh, mount up pretty easily. So I got blue, I got black, and red. Uh, he does have some other products. Um, this is on eBay. Um, he has uh, some chamber indicators for firearms. He's got some uh, tactical um, survival stuff, like wristbands that have like fishing on it or, or you know, flint um, things. So. He has a bunch of survival type stuff, outdoorsy stuff as well that he does. So definitely check him out. I will provide a link down below. The other package I got in the mail, which I am super excited about as well, is from East Tactics himself. This was the Mod Box giveaway. So we'll go over real quick what's in here. Uh, a lot of you guys already know this product uh, or what's in here, but. Um, these are some washers to clean up some slop in the front and the wheels and whatnot. Uh, this one I'm really excited about. 40 by 40 by 28 fans. Of course, he's got the pre-cut sort of thing, which is for shock, mi shock mitigation. Uh, got the hardware in there. He's got a splitter to go directly to a 3S battery. These are to get it all heat shrunk and uh, with some mesh on there. Really well done up. Um, and coincidentally, another fan guard. So there's kind of an up close look at it. Really well cut, really stout material. And it's a perfect fit. It looks awesome. So again, Pyro Nitro. I might end up using this on my sons. I do have contact with some other fans possibly coming in. So um, can't wait to get all these going though. The biggest thing I was excited about was this new ESC mount. Uh, the reason is this allows you to attach it to the ESC. It has a center support so your fan isn't going to you know, pop through, which this one's um, pretty secure it looks like. When you put your center pin into your roll cage, it'll interfere or not go in because of the fan mounting. So this allows it to be offset a little bit so that you can allow for that to pass through. So really smart design uh, to allow that. So awesome there. Um, since I've went to the new motor, unfortunately, the heat sink 
I think this is a power hobby. It could be a yaw racing, but the heat sink doesn't fit. Um, this is for a 42 millimeter can, I believe. And with the new 1650 hobby wing, that is a 49 millimeter uh, can. So um, I have some other options I'm gonna do. But again, wasn't expecting an additional fan, so the fact that I got two is just outstanding. This would definitely be going on to um, my son's truck if I let him use the fan. <laughs> uh, he's got the shell, which is for the tire venting, which is actually genius to sharpen that. Um, brass is actually a soft metal, so it allows you to sharpen that up. It makes it a lot easier for popping those out. I really like this. This is the... Uh, Torx heads for uh, a lot of different things on there. The bumper supports, which um, make it so they don't pop through the plastic um, when you have hard impacts. This I really want to try to utilize soon. Uh, time I take them apart, I'll be putting in the better diff pins, as they're called. Um, he does have a link to the videos on everything on here, but that is a little bit thicker. Uh, and the material is supposed to be a little bit better too. I actually need these right away. I ripped a hole in one of my shock uh, boots, so I will definitely be utilizing these right away. Um, so I'm glad that he included these. Again, was not aware that these were coming in there, so that's awesome. Uh, this is a gadget I had for a drone a couple years ago and I really used it a lot. You could plug it in and it'll tell you if your batteries are full, if everything's good there. Uh, this is the yoga mat that's been cut down for your shock towers don't pop through your body. This will uh, help absorb some of the impact. And one thing I have not done and I'm wanting to do is the body lining. Um, so I got some of that as well. So definitely be taking advantage of that to help uh, prevent the body from cracking or splitting so a lot of good stuff in this so just giving you guys an update got the package in the mail um, tons of stuff to go through and uh, I'm actually kind of excited about doing a new build too um, I've had a blast building mine and you know my son showed some interest and uh, I think getting him into it will be fun for both of us so, a little update on the motor installation and the new ASC. So I got the Max 6 with the 1650 kV hobby wing motor. Uh, everything fit pretty well. Um, the spacing between the drive shaft and the ESC was a little tight. Um, so I ended up drumming just a little bit off. Uh, there, it wasn't touching but it was close enough that I felt uh, that it would be a little bit um, more cautious to take a little bit of that off. So uh, I did so, and it looks like it has pretty good clearance now. I put a 22 tooth pinion on there. So everything is lined up well. Now I wanted to kind of go over with you guys. Um, I know a lot of people are concerned with um, overheating issues, fans, things like that. So I definitely uh, have upgraded my system. Now, originally I was running a Rocket in my stock ESC. I was running a Rocket upgraded um, fan and it was doing really, really, really good. Um, I had two 30 mil fans on the motor and then I had the 35 mil rocket fan on the ESC. Again, that was with the stock electronics. Because I'm upgrading this pinion size with this motor, I believe it's gonna run a little hotter. Now, with a huge um, help with East Tactics, he sent me some 40 by 40 by 28 um, beefy fans that I was really excited to use. Um, before I had won this, I had already uh, looked at some other fans from a company called Fanworks. And these guys custom make fans, and he sent me out a couple. Uh, this was the original cover on them, which was really nice. Uh, cut down on 
debris getting in there. I ended up swapping those out with the Pyro Nitro 3D covers. And these are 40 by 40 by 28 fans as well. Uh, everything's has a JST connector on there. Uh, I also have a splitter to go to my 6S battery. Because of the wiring setup and whatnot, I went ahead and got these fans going. And again, those it's a splitter to JST connections. Um, I also have a couple of switches so that I can turn the fans off and on um, to, the, to the ESC and the motor. So I've got them mocked up. Uh, nothing's Loctited completely down yet with these. I, I wanted to make sure I liked the shroud. So this is a 3D printed shroud from ECSRC. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. It gives a little bit of spacing there for the airflow. I really wanted to go with one of these two options um, originally, but it just wasn't going to work out because of the fact that they didn't fit specifically inside of uh, the lip. So these um, fins here, this heat sink on the side here uh, has a ridge on it on both sides. And unfortunately, this would not sit down flush with it, so it was going to be a little crooked um, if I mounted it in there. It would have worked, and it would have been fine. Um, I liked the idea of this one because it was going to offset the fan to give more clearance to the pin for the roll cage. And then this was the one that actually came on the fans from Fanworks which he had already taken in consideration. And I don't know if you guys can see, he had already cut the spacing out. Let's see if I can get that focus. So it actually did fit perfectly. So this is an awesome option. I just liked the fit and finish look with the shroud. Um, it kind of just makes it look factory, we'll call it. It just makes it look really nicely finished compared to just being an exposed uh, aluminum plate sitting on there. So this is going to go on here and what it does, and this is specifically made for this size motor, which is a 49 millimeter. What you do is you tighten this bolt down, which collapses that and pinches it around the motor size. And it is very secure. Um, I really like the minimalistic look of that. My original hardware that came with the fans was this, which you just threw a zip tie through and you could mount it directly on the motor, which worked great. I just didn't like the zip tie look necessarily. So it works, it looks okay. Uh, I tried a metal zip tie, and even that still wouldn't snug up as tight as I'd want it. So I opted to remove that plate, added this plate, which it had the bottom support to hold the fan. This is all metal housing, so I'm not too worried about it breaking. Um, so it's definitely beefed up compared to most. And these things are super powerful. Um, I'll give you guys a little test here in a second. So I actually ordered... 3M 45 millimeter um, bolts, and that's what I have on this side. This one I have uh, 40 millimeters, so there's a little bit sticking out, but that's not going to be a problem. I originally really liked the look of this heat sink, and I knew it was going to dissipate heat really well, and it snaps on very, very nicely over top of that. Kind of goes with the whole theme of you know the silver and black. So the heat sink with the size of that fan on there just made it so tall that it was a bit too much i mean it was just too tall so uh might re give that might do a giveaway including that for somebody that has uh, a need for it all right so i'm gonna show you guys these uh fans plugged in and what kind of uh 
power we're getting out of them. For anybody looking at upgrading their pinion to a larger tooth, I think fan and heat is a must to mitigate. Um, you have to put on some of these bigger fans. Again, I ran the Rocket um, fans on there, on the stock electronics, and it worked fine. Not a problem at all. But once you start gearing up, and I even had a 16 tooth pinion on my stock electronics and it still did great for temps. So, but I think going up to this 22 tooth pinion, um, it's gonna cause some heat. Finally installed the motor mount, which looks awesome. Has that adjustment screw. I mean, it's just a huge advantage to not have to by hand try to scoot the motor in and out. I can fine tune it with this adjustment screw to get the mesh exactly where I want it, which I also have the top plate oops, on there for the differential. Let you guys see that. And that's with the roll cage. But just the fit and finish of everything's really nice. So the way that this shroud ended up my, um, mounting was these two screws on this side mount to the actual plastic ESC plate or the, um, the shroud itself. These two on this side are the 45 millimeter ones and those go all the way through into the actual ESC. So those are mounting everything super firm. It's not going anywhere. I am using the M2C uh, plate, the ESC plate, which mounted up nicely. The ESC is actually, uh, has some sorbethane underneath it and is screwed down to that plate. All right guys, so for the giveaway, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell and then comment down below pyro nitro or just pyro and we'll get you entered in we'll get you some fan covers he was nice enough to uh provide me with a few extra so i'm gonna give some away and uh hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as i have and uh, you guys try the link down below and see the other products he offers thanks for watching you guys I uh, really appreciate you guys uh, liking, subscribing, commenting. Any questions you might have, please feel free to reach out. Um, my email address is in the uh, description below. A lot of the links to the products that I've purchased. Please don't hesitate to shout out and uh, ask away. I'm more than happy to help. That's what it's all about. So until then, later.